I woke up early because this is one of the most anticipated episodes ever. See? I'll be watching the second to the last episode of Game of Thrones. Here we go. GOT just finished and my thoughts are just all over the place. So I think what I need is sleep and watch the second to the last episode of Game of Thrones later on HBO Go. Okay, let me think about it. Let me think about it. After getting enough sleep and food in my system, and finally, I got the shower. Yes, nakaligo rin ako. Uh, I'm ready to watch for the second time. Medyo alangarin yung oras natin yun to watch Game of Thrones sa HBO or HBO HD on TV. But no worries, cause I got this with me. The HBO Go app. Oh, by the way, um, saying hi to the people of Sky Cable and HBO for giving me this one. Yeah, Targaryen, Fire and Blood. Sakto, kasi the episode will be something about this one. If you want to catch all of your favorite series, all of your favorite movies, then you better get this one. Because there are so many offerings like, uh, see, Escape Plan 2 is out, Jurassic World is out, and of course, our favorite, Game of Thrones. So just in case you don't have this app, dali lang yan. Just go to the App Store, Play Store, um, key in HBO Go. Better news if you are a Sky Cable subscriber because you can access this baby for free. Now, if you're using your laptop or your desktop, dali lang yan. Just go to HBO and HBO Go actually. Click, register, and you're all set. Right now, I have another chance to watch this one. So if you can watch it with me, go. You go to this one and see things that I have downloaded. Okay, second time in a row. Let's go watch this. HBO Go. You guys rock. If you're about to watch this vlog without watching Game of Thrones or this episode, I'm warning you right now because there will be spoilers. So it's time to sound the spoiler alert. And the episode is done. If you want to see that one, I tell you, go to HBO Go. But I have analyzed some of the characters using this. <laughs> Low budget on me. Okay, let's start with the Hound, Sandor Clegane. I think this one is one of the best episodes for him, together with his brother. And it's the first time we get to see the face of the mountain. It's like Darth Vader all <laughs> First time we saw that creature. And my gosh, for the people who play MOBA. Welcome to Mobile Legends! The mountain could be the best tank ever. I don't have a I don't have a Finally, we get to see that at an epic fight inside a castle. And it was it was awesome. It was a bit long for me, but it was major for him. Arya, Arya, Arya for me. Twenty percent. I'm a bit disappointed. Eighty percent. It's all good in the hood because she can have this chance again in the next episode to do something. The Hound and Arya were like assassins. They were set to go inside a castle, storm that one, and kill Cersei. But when, you know, the dragon came and the castle was falling, the Hound told Arya, Hey, um, your life was full of vengeance. This time, you should live. It was a good advice, this comment from, from the Hound. But it was Arya's decision to say, Okay, I will go out. I will choose life right now. Aww. Sandor. Talk about Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister. He tried to do everything. Girls, 
if you're looking for a Joa, look for a Tyrion. Parang try and try until you succeed. Kenas Tyrion. He tried to convince Danny. He tried to do, to reason out with her. He tried to prevent the war from happening. He tried to save the people. But wala. You can only do so much when someone's really crazy and angry. If someone could be the king or queen, I'm really hoping it could be Tyrion. He doesn't have just the brains, he has the heart. Tens of thousands of innocent lives. One not particularly innocent dwarf. Seems like a fair trade. Jamie Lannister, what happened to the guy? He was good already. Get the presentation sa kanya sa Winterfell. He went back. Everything was going so well for him with the uh, with the other knight. I won't say the name, but I'm spoiling them all. But yeah, I am. But you know, lots of people. I, I search social media as well. Lots of people would say, "Once a Lannister, always a Lannister." And you can't change what happened to him overnight. Yeah, it was really big. The battle at Winterfell. What's bigger is his love for his sister and their their child. The things I do for love. Cersei, I think, major. <gasps> I, I didn't like the way. She ended everything right there. I was really hoping for the White Walkers to march down King's Landing and kill Cersei. Then Cersei would turn into a White Walker to get rid of the Night King, and then they would go to Winterfell. That was, ha! Ah, that was one of the best theories ever. In this episode, Cersei didn't get to do anything, and all she did was was to watch. And then wala na. she got reunited with Jamie, and then he died because the castle fell on them. So the hype was not there. She died because some rocks fell on them. Our question is, did they really die? Let's find out. Jon Snow. Jon Snow's character. I hate and love Jon Snow at the same time. I hate it because he doesn't want the throne. I love it because he doesn't want the throne. But so I am that was your chance. Didn't do anything. He could have control his aunt and girlfriend at the same time. The wolf should remember. Daenerys, Danny, what happened? You were supposed to liberate the people, but she set it on fire. So, yeah, exactly. Fire and blood all over King's Landing, all because of you. The bells were there, and she did not listen. She turned into the Mad Queen. The very personality that she abhorred, now she's that one. Oh, by the way, Cersei or Daenerys? Who's hotter? Danny is pretty. But between the two, I would go for Cersei. But, okay, later. Later is hottest for me. I think for the last episode, she would have to repay for all the damages she has done. But I'm not yet done with this discussion. Because we have two more characters. Just wondering why weren't they in that episode. Bran Stark. Where's Bran? Where's Bran? I was hoping that he could have been there somehow. Raven form or not. I'm going to go now. Sansa. Okay, to answer the question, I think Sansa is the hottest. No, she's much prettier. Sansa could be the queen and should be the queen. We need someone powerful and rational, charming, and who has the heart. I think that is the best ending that we could give right here in this vlog. After everything that happened to King's Landing, think of it this way. King's Landing, the Philippines. I know I should not talk about politics and all, but think of it that way. Who should be in the Iron Throne? You should decide. You should know. And I'm just really hoping that you have voted for the right people because the future of the country depends on someone who could manage resources, the people, and who has really the biggest heart for our country. Remember, winter is here, but the future is ours. It has been a great and crazy journey together with HBO Go and Sky Cable. Thank you so much for that one. But next week's gonna be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, episodes of Game of Thrones because it's a season finale. If you have any theories, I would like to know. Just feel free to comment, like, subscribe here. It's a YouTube channel called. Because <laughs> I want to know. Is it going to be the lion? Probably not. The dragon? Maybe. But hopefully for me, the wolf who would rule the kingdom.